Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll explain you what is an intent and the importance of it but before I start explaining you what's an intent let me first explain you the concept of an activity now many of you may know what is an activity but for understanding intent it is important to understand the activity first now suppose you create a simple hello world application which consists of a single page and if you show this application to a non programmer then for him this is an application which consists of a single page but as android developers instead of calling this a page we call this an activity so according to me this is an android app which consists of a single activity made up of two main files main activity.java and activity main.xml so if you have an application which consists of three pages then in technical terms your application consists of three activities now if you have three activities inside your application then you need some component to communicate between these activities or you need some component to jump from one activity to another activity so to communicate between one activity to another activity we use a component called as intent so guys after understanding what's an activity let's talk about intent so intent is a messaging object you can use to request an action from an another app component intent facilitates communication between components intents are of two types explicit intent and implicit intent so first let's look at what is an explicit intent an intent is called as explicit intent when you want to communicate between two activities inside the same application or if you want to jump from one activity to another activity inside the same application and intent is called as implicit intent when you want to communicate between two activities but from different application for example suppose you have two applications inside your smartphone one is an email application and second is a web browsing application both the applications have the individual activities as you can see over here now if you click on the url link inside this email app then this link will now open inside a web browser as it is an url link if you have two web browsing applications inside your smartphone then we can use intent for calling a choose a component meaning it will ask you a question you want to open this url using which web browser if you have two different web browsers so we use explicit intent when we want to communicate between two activities inside the same application and we use implicit intent when we want to communicate between two activities inside different application so intents are basically used to start an activity intents are also used to start a service intents are also used to pass a data from one activity to another activity inside the same application in this case as you can see if the user types the username and password inside the edit text then on the press of a button this data will be stored and passed to the next activity and displayed over there using intents intents are also used for broadcasting a message if suppose your phone has a low battery then your android operating system will pass a message to all the application saying that the battery is low and the other application will receive this message via the broadcast receiver and this communication between the os and the application is carried out by intents so guys i hope from this video you would have got a clear idea of what is an intent what are their types and where are they used so guys that's it from this video if you found this video helpful please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for learning android from scratch thank you guys and i'll catch you in the next video